Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a Google form to your Canvas course so that students can still complete the form within Canvas and not have to go out to another tab. So you have two different ways that you can do that. The first way is by adding it as an external link. To do that, you'll need to navigate to your form. So I'm going to my drive and I'm going to find a form that I've created that I want my students to use and submit. So I'm going to find the form and I'm going to go ahead and open the form up like I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to hit the send button. Remember that with forms you don't share you send. So I'm going to hit send and I'm going to get the link, this big long link right here. I can shorten it if I want, but there's no need really. So I'm just going to go ahead and say copy. And then I'm going to navigate back to my testing course where I'm working. I'm in my testing course. And I'm going to come down here to my module. Oops, sorry. Hit my modules. And I'm going to come down to this bottom module and I'm going to hit the plus sign. And this time, I'm going to pick an external URL and then I'm going to paste in that link and I'm going to call it the name of the quiz or the form and I'm going to say add item so that will actually embed the form directly into this canvas page so again my students do not have to go out anywhere to get to this form. So one more time to show you what I did there. I went to the module. I used the plus button. I selected external URL. I pasted the link. And remember that I got the link from hitting send form and copied it here. And then I gave it a name. I did not say load in new tab. And then I said add item. And when the students click on that, they will see a form embedded into a page, this gray box around it, indicating that it was an external URL. All right, so that's one way that I can do this. That was using an external URL right here. The second way I can do this is by making a page or an assignment if I wanted to make it worth points, but really for a form, a page works better. So to do that, I'm gonna hit the plus button I'm going to select page or assignment. Again, that part is less critical. New page because the steps are the same. And I'm going to call it the same thing. Call it form, give it a name. This time, when I go to edit it, remember I click on the name and then I click edit to edit whether I'm doing a page or an assignment. I'm going to click into this box. I'm going to come back to my actual form. This time, though, instead of getting this link, I'm going to go right here. These are, this is these little bracket guys. I'm going right here to these guys. Okay, right here. These guys are indicators for HTML. And in this case, particularly, it's going to give me an embed code. So you can see it says embed HTML, and it's generated this iframe code for me. You don't have to know what any of this means. All you have to do is hit on these little bracketies and then copy. Okay, you can adjust the width and height if you want to. I'm going to leave it as is. Then I go back to my canvas page. Remember, I'm in a page and I'm going to find those same little brackety guys on my canvas page. Okay, right here. See, they match. Okay, I'm going to click those little brackety guys and then I'm gonna command V on my Mac and save and it is now pasted that webinar form into a page that my students can actually go through and submit directly within canvas as well so that is how you add Google Forms into a canvas course if you have any questions Please reach out to any member of Digital Learning. We'd be happy to help you. Remember that you can do this as an external URL, or you can get the embed code and embed it within a page or an assignment.